everybody, it's me Carmine DiStefano, the Book Man. To keep up with tradition, I am going to give you now my year in review in the gaming world for this past year. 2019's come to an end. And for people like me, that means another year gone, another year we're older, and another year we're angrier. So let's take a look at my specific list. Starting with most ambitious being Astral Chain because it was a brand new IP that I hadn't seen, and you actually were a police officer. And it was good until the last hour when it sucked in. Most surest bet is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, because you've got one of the great games on one of the best consoles ever made, and the best console today, you can't miss. Most coveted is definitely Bayonetta 3. Have we heard anything else about it recently? Least coveted is the PlayStation 5, because fuck you, Sony, and your shitty hardware. I don't want your Alienware-looking weird-ass fucking console or any of the games you don't produce. Most disappointing is definitely Mortal Kombat 11, because it was just another Mortal Kombat game with more cheesy fucks online that made the game unplayable. Most frustrating was Pokemon Sword and Shield. Because you're telling me that I have to go through all of those battles, all of those Pokemon, and all those tournaments, and those major boss fights in the end, just to not be able to beat Leon? Kiss. My. Ass. Most pleasant surprise was Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, because I was not expecting this to be re-released, and when it was, I really enjoyed myself. Except for the DLC. Fuck you on that one, too. Now before I get to the game of the year, here's a quick list to, again, maintain tradition of all the women in video games that I wish were real. The hottest women from the last year, and those I wish that really existed. Now on to the game of the year. What do you think it was going to be? Fire Emblem Three Houses. Damn it, that's one of the best games I've played in a long time. You could do whatever you want to all your characters. That's a role-playing game where you have decisions to make with your individual characters, your teams, who you want to recruit, who you want to keep, who you want to be what class and what have you, and it's pretty much three games in one. Three Houses has different revelations for the world that they built. And that's my list for this year. What did you think? Leave your comments, questions, and criticisms below. I thank you all for watching. We have more for you soon to come, so stay tuned, take care, have a great day, and a Happy New Year!